Anderson's Death Tours back on January 6th, 2018 in Las Vegas. I am here at 2058 Ottawa Drive. This is the home that Sonny Liston, former World Heavyweight Boxing Champion, died of an apparent heroin overdose back in 1970 at the end of December. A lot of controversy surrounds his death still to this day some say the mob took care of him some say loan shark people did him in or drug dealers uh, Sonny had been involved in a lot of bad decisions in life and he got himself in a lot of trouble most everywhere he went. He lived in St. Louis, Philadelphia, and Denver before moving to Las Vegas. And he was harassed by police in every city he lived in. But most of that was brought on by himself because Sonny liked to drink. He liked his women and he really did like to party and have too good of a time. And he really kind of felt he was invincible in life. So he got himself in a lot of trouble. He served time in prison for armed robbery. He stole a policeman's gun, broke his leg, the policeman's leg. And uh, through his life, in 38 short years, he got himself in a lot of trouble. But he also rose to world heavyweight boxing champion, beating Floyd Patterson for the title. Then he lost two controversial fights to Muhammad Ali in the 60s. Well, one to Cassius Clay and then to Muhammad Ali after he changed his name. But right up there is the master bedroom and uh, this is the home that Sonny was found uh, the first week of January by his wife after she returned home uh, from a trip to St. Louis to visit family and Sonny was left here alone and uh, there's still speculation whether he administered the heroin himself or it was given to him uh, by someone else to kill him. Some even say the police knew he was dead several days before his body was even discovered. I don't know what the facts are. I just know it's very sad that a man that had such a promising life could have done so much more good with his life than he did. Um, maybe steered kids off of drugs, that sort of thing, and gone another direction. And I just uh, feel it's so sad that uh, anyone loses their life at such a young age of 38. Um, so I just wanted to stop by here today while I'm in Las Vegas doing some more videos for my YouTube channel, Big Bill Anderson's Death Tours. I uh, ask that you please subscribe to my channel for more updates on other videos I'm going to do. But uh, this is the house, the tragic ending house that Sonny Liston, a great boxing champion of his day, passed away in, in 1970. I would love to go inside, but I don't believe that's an option. So here it is, my friends. The home of Sonny Liston. And believe me, this was a beautiful neighborhood back in the 70s. It's a little more run down now. Trees are overgrown, that sort of thing. But we will never know whether Sonny Liston was murdered 
or just careless in drug use. It's very sad. But I will show you his grave in this video also. And my friends, have a wonderful day. And this is Big Bill Anderson saying adios, my friends. Okay, my friends on YouTube, I am here at Davis Memorial Park, part of my Sunny Liston video that I have already showed you where his house is, talked a little bit about his life. Well, here he is, buried right here, Palm Davis Cemetery. very sad and tragic ending for this man that had such greatness inside of him so here lies Charles Sonny Liston and it just simply says a man and my friends uh, this is Big Bill Anderson's death tours saying please uh, like subscribe to my channel hope you like this video and adios, amigos.